possible to find a ready-made shower curtain that is long enough, but with a few simple changes, you can create a graceful custom curtain. Kimberly's back to show us some great ideas, and uh, it's one of those things, you look at the standard size in store. Yes. They're, they just don't cut it usually. One size, one size never fits all, it right? It doesn't fit all. To take a look at the photo, because I think sometimes you're so busy getting into a new house, you don't even really notice that you have this situation where the shower curtain is like riding eight inches above the floor. Yeah. And it just feels kind of unfinished and awkward. It feels like floods, but not in a good way. Because I, I know floods are kind of I in. I was going to say floods, but I didn't but know not people in a good were way. old enough to remember that yeah, expression. Okay, so cool. Short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is kind of typical. You you might buy this anywhere. It could be a grocery store. It could be the pharmacy. Yes. It's like a typical length. This one's vinyl. And just one thing to keep in mind, the lighter the liner is, the more likely it's going to stick to you when you're showering. That's so you know true. that when you go to a cheap hotel oh, and annoying. the liner's wrapped around your leg and you're like, yeah. get off me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are handy, uh, mm -hmm. not like us, can I use <laughs> us both here? A regular roll of fabric is usually 54 inches wide. So okay. shower curtains typically are 72 inches wide, which means if you're going to do this yourself, you're going to need a vertical seam mm -hmm. or you're going to railroad the fabric, turn it sideways, and then you're going to need a horizontal seam, which is probably preferable for most of us. Right. Um, the, with this shower curtain, this is, a, this is a typical shower curtain, and what we did is we just dressed up the header by adding better rings at the top to make it really pretty. This is pretty though, the fabric. Isn't that lovely? And you can do almost anything. You just need a good liner. You just need a great liner. And then the other thing we did is we added these cute little pockets. That's cool. At the bottom. So, for example, I thought you had a little a wine bottle in there, oh. Kimberly. You're on to me. A little reading <laughs> pocket, right? If it's a teeny tiny little bathroom and yeah. you have nowhere to put the toilet paper, <laughs> you know, maybe the toilet paper is going to go in there. A loofah, a mask, something like that. Yeah. It's like a nice way if you have a really small space to get some things up and out of countertops. Totally. If you've got okay. lighter shampoo bottles, you might yeah, be able to put them in exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. And it, you're right. It, it is really about the liner for mm -hmm. sure. Over here, instead of having the top that you see here, See when the shower curtain is open, how the top is super flat like a sheet. Yeah. Right? Over here, what's happened is now it's more like a drapery treatment. That's pretty. So it's all been pleated, nice big rings. Mm -hmm. It just has a little bit more of a decorative treatment. And often when we're doing beautiful shower curtains, we will do 80, 84 inches rather than the standard 72 inches just to give it a little bit more fullness. Yes. It feels a little bit more graceful. It looks more luxe. It does. The it more does. fabric, the, the better, especially if it's hanging like that. So it always looks full. Right. And then the but really the best of the best is uh, instead of using these rods with rings because you know especially if it's an extendable rod the rings yeah. are always catching that's mm -hmm. why we don't love them for regular draperies we love what we call a KS track okay. or a hospital track so the rings glide really smoothly this can be installed on the ceiling or it can be installed wall to wall okay. and that's what we have here and the, the advantage is it just glides so that's beautifully so good. you don't have to fight with it also what's nice is if you do do it all the way up to the ceiling, you have that illusion of having this humongous yes. shower. It's sort yes. of like the same illusion you get with drapes. Exactly. So now what I want to show you is this is a standard shower curtain, standard height, yeah. but to add height to it because of these horizontal stripes, we just added a piece of grow grain ribbon. Oh, that's what you did to all the way extend. down. Right. Now what you what we could have done is added a separate fabric from here down. You could. Right? Like, but so there's various ways to do it depending upon how much time you have on your hands. Right. Or who knows how to sew. That's and, right. and I'm terrible at that. But really, from top to bottom, finishes the bathroom off so much more nicely. Yeah. And when you go to shop for a liner, if you just want to do a ready-made one, if they don't have two sizes of liners, it's probably not the shop you want to buy a liner at to begin with. Mm -hmm. And the second, because if they're only one size, it's going to be that short size. It's going to be short. So this is like nothing special, but this one is 96 inches high, so eight feet. That's good. But we're finding nowadays a lot of people have seen that are nine feet and ten feet and yeah. so still the eight feet's just a little bit short okay got it you did something smart at yes home. so we did uh, we I was at my friend's place and I was like where'd you get your shower curtain because it was super long she's like that's an Ikea drape it's an Ikea ready-made drape 
And so I got it, and it was actually too long. It was pooling, so we hemmed it. A hem I can do. That's about it. Totally. That's about it. That's I, the limit. Oh, you can do tape hems, too. Right, yes, I could way. have done that. But I actually hemmed it and uh, put a good liner on it, and it's perfect. It's Throw such it a in difference. the washing machine whenever we need to wash it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's low maintenance, and And they it's also good. do have waterproof fabrics that you could use yeah, as do. to back a drape if you wanted to make it yourself so there's yeah. no liner that's separate which is really a nice way to go good tip because yeah. it can really elevate your space in the bathroom yeah.